hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to add routing to our angular app so let's get started so previously we had displayed the student list over here and now we are going to add the routing so we can navigate between multiple pages so in our components my component folder i have a student list file and there is a page over here called app component html so let's start with the routing so in your app routing dot module dot ts file over here you see you have routes and it is added in the imports so say curly braces and then specify the path so i will say the path has students and for this route i want to send the component which is student list component okay so for now we just have one component and in this file this is the main html file where we will be having our router outlet so i will show you how a router outlet works so let me say router outlet okay i just save it and here let me check the output so when you refresh you can see this and now when you call the route of students you can see you got this twice that is because once you have manually included that file and then this is a static page right so only this part is changing based on the route so whichever component match this route that has been printed over here and rest of this thing is a static data which we have put it inside this app.component.html so we will remove this code from here and leave the router outlet alone over here and let me create another component open the terminal and say ng generate component my component slash student create okay so you can see in your my component you have got a student create folder so now we'll add the route for that also say path equal to within double quotes specify the path that is student slash add and the component for that is student create component okay so just save refresh let say student slash add you get the student create component so how do you navigate between those two pages i will just add a navbar over here quickly so we'll go to the get bootstrap website and search for navbar i'll just take a simple one which has a logo and nav items here yeah, this is fine take this and we'll go to our angular project over here you can see we require the navbar even for this html file and even for this create so we are not going to put it individually instead we will just keep it outside you can keep it either inside your my components or you can keep it directly over here so i'll just keep it outside i'll say partials just generate the component for that something like ng generate component partials slash navbar you can keep the capital n yeah so my navbar is generated i'll just paste it over here change this to students and this home i will change this to the empty and we are not going to use the href over here instead we are going to use router link okay so in the a tag we are not supposed to use href in angular just change that to router link and specify the path that is as students slash add i'll say add student okay and this one will be students 
list okay so i'll just give students and the path for this is slash students okay so let us include this component in our main html file so the page is going to change based on the url but the navbar is going to stay the same for everything so you can directly add it over here i'll just wrap everything in an external div over here yeah so i will include the navbar over here okay let us refresh so you can see add students student so it is navigating without the page reloading and you can see the page is changing over here okay so i'll just modify the navbar a bit partials navbar remove the fluid from here and this ul say margin start auto so this will move the nav items to the right side and we'll add a shadow refresh yeah so our navbar is added and you can see we are able to navigate using the routes so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to add routing in our angular application so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you